Tom Holland reprises his role as Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man, in the upcoming Marvel Studios film, Spider-Man No Way Home. This is the Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Spider-Man No Way Home upgraded suit figure by Hasbro. Let's talk about it. What a party people in the place. I am the ruckus and these are my toys. On deck, we have the Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Spider-Man upgraded suit from the upcoming movie, Spider-Man No Way Home. Let's take a dive in and see what we've got. As you can see, as always, we've got the standard, the typical uh, Marvel Legends packaging with the clear window. You've got uh, you see the figure right there. It's sporting the Tom Holland head sculpt. We also have for accessories, we have the fully masked head and we have an extra pair of hands. These are the dwipping hands, the thwipping hands. And behind the figure, we have a length of webbing, which is great. I think that uh, webbing should be included in any Spider-Man figure, MCU or 616, however. So, um... That's what we got there going on. Uh, looking at the side, we've got we've got uh, artwork there of uh, Spidey doing his thing. To the back, we also have more artwork, and uh, it has uh, the little bio as it usually does. And the bio reads: Spider-Man gears up in his upgraded suit to fight evil and protect his neighborhood. Then we go to the other side and it's some more of that same artwork. And then on the top, we've got the uh, Spot Varnished Spider logo. So that's what you have. So now let's get it out the package and see what we got. So here we have upgraded suit Spidey as he came in the packaging, now out of the package with the unmasked head on and at first glance, the uh, the first thing that uh, stands out is that the uh, the lines, the web lines, are not painted. They're just uh, sculpted in, uh, kind of like how it was with the last one. So uh, that's not good. Um, I know everybody out there would have preferred having um, the lines sculpted in. But, uh, or rather the lines uh, painted in. But uh, what we see here is what we get. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a closer look at it. So what we have here is uh, Tom Holland head sculpt. And uh, looking at it, it uh, I think it resembles the lad pretty well. And get that profile in there and uh, I can definitely see Tom uh, on the profile and I definitely see him I see him straight on too same thing with the other side here pretty well um, his hair is done very nicely uh, no it has no shading but it's still done it's pretty detailed so that's pretty well and good as far as the face itself, the paint on the face is 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 uh, done well. The eyes look good. Everything seems to be. Uh, I don't have any uh, paint imperfections on my uh, my figure, so that's pretty good. Once again, though, talking about the the body, you see there are no the lines. They're sculpted, but they're not painted in. The spider logo looks great Let's see if we can get that in there yeah the spider logo looks great and uh, 
in terms of the uh, the line work there. We have uh, the uh, you know it's molded in red, so the black is painted on. And um, if you look right here, with some line work where there's red, it looks. I'm sure that's intentional. We'll look on the other side to check out, and yeah, it's more or less the same. So that's that's pretty good with the attention to detail. Still got the black on the inside. Um, unfortunately, these are not pinless, so you can see uh, the pins shining through with the one because one of the pins, fortunately enough, it's on the black part of his costume, the bicep, but uh, down here in the forearm where, where the costume is red, it's uh, the black showing through, but it is what it is. On this side, um, it's black, so it matches it matches well the same thing with the uh, pin up top the only problem is that it does it does break up the uh the paintwork there because of the pen the hands are pretty clean so that's cool same on this side hands are pretty clean going down once again no paint with the line work, even though the line work is nice and detailed. We're all good down here below. It's all black. You get the boots. Once again, line work not painted in. The toes of the boots are black on them. That that's different than the original. The original, it was all red. You have that turning to the back. Also have uh, black on the heels. And uh, once again with the belt, no uh, paint for the line work. The uh, Spidey logo on the back looks pretty good. It looks very good as a matter of fact. And once again, I don't have any imperfections there. So paint, paint job came out pretty well. I've got, uh, oh no, that's part. Of, I, I thought I had a scuff right and you see it right there but no that's part of the costume it's the same on both sides so that's pretty good so that's what uh, that's what our guy looks like now taking a look at his accessories you have as I stated earlier a pair of thwipping hands and his masked head taking a closer look at his thwipping hands once again the uh, make sure it's in focus there it's uh, the paintwork looks pretty good on there. So again, it's uh, the hands, palms, back of the hands themselves are in black, and the fingers are red. And you see line work. I think you can. Can you? Yeah, there you go. You can see line work in the fingers, and once again, they're not painted black, but it is what it is. Taking a look at the head sculpt, the masked head sculpt looks pretty good. The eyes. The whites and the eyes are painted, nothing, no blemish there. With the black uh, that uh, surrounds the perimeter of the eyes, pretty good. And you get the, uh, the line work, but once again, not painted in black. Uh, Hasbro, you're going to have to do something about that. The last accessory to come, and a very welcome one, is... A 10 inch strand of webbing transparent webbing at that so that's pretty good that's going to be good for a nice effect but uh, it has the handle right there which you can place in the C grip hands or around the wrist and then it's got uh, it's got a little hook thing right there so you can connect it up to something pretty good it's pretty pliable so you can actually try to play the wrap a bad guy up game with it so that's pretty good so that's it for uh, Spider-Man's accessories let's uh, take a look at uh, let's do some head comparisons okay so here we have uh, our new upgraded suit Spider-Man 
lined up next to Spider-Man from Civil War. And uh, looking at their head sculpts, they're decidedly different. Just just peeping in uh, from right here, you can see that the uh, Civil War Spidey head sculpt or Tom Holland head sculpt is a is is a he's got a nugget up there. Definitely carrying a melon on that neck. But um, let's take a closer look at uh, at them. Okay, looking at both the heads. I can definitely say with total certainty that uh, our head sculpt on the new upgraded suit Spidey definitely looks a whole lot better. It's more spot on to Tom Holland's likeness. And it's it's a normal size head. It fits the body. This, this right here is a straight melon. That's unbelievable right there. But uh, you get to also see exactly how far the photo real tech has has come. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So here we have the upgraded suits, past and present, side by side now. And um, looking at these differences, the Spidey logos are definitely different. Let's uh, let's do a close up. But as you can see. Uh, the Spidey logos are definitely different. The uh, the newer suit, our latest Marvel Legends, the Spidey logo is a little bit smaller, I think, or it just could be the illusion of that because it actually has some white painting um, on it, whereas the old suit or the old figure is uh, bereft of that uh, white paint on it. So, there are those differences. Uh, it's missing the line work at the biceps. So, there's another difference. You can see that it's missing the line work at the biceps. And, um, difference with the, the feet. The, uh, the newer version, the toes are painted black as well as the heels so there's are your difference and here's upgraded suit spidey fully masked so now let's take a look at that articulation but before we do that let's take this height measurement my man Tom stands at Let's say he's about five and a half inches. That translates into centimeters. He's right at uh, just a tick under 14 centimeters. His head is on a ball peg hinge. It goes up that far. It can look down that far, 360 degrees rotation. Arms have got butterfly joints, which is great. The shoulders, you love that, having butterfly joints. I know I do. Uh, it can go up uh, 90. I've already got uh, one issue here. If you see this imperfection, you can barely see it, but that's from trying to raise the arm up. So be careful of that. You have to, your best bet is to try to tuck it in. So you can get the, the full 90. It goes a little bit, just a little bit more than 90. You've got rotation at the shoulders. Can go out. You've got a uh, 360 degree bicep swivel double jointed elbows a wrist swivel and it hinges the traditional way your crunch the yeah, ab crunch goes that far and it's cool because looking at the back it doesn't break up the paint because the entire uh, 
the Spidey logo on the back is painted on the upper half of the torso, so that's good. Can look back, can go back, sorry, look back, go back that far. It has waist rotation. Can do the splits that much. Legs can go out that much. Go back that much, not too much. You've got thigh swivel, double jointed knees, pretty good. He can actually kick his own back. No boot cuff, but that's because you see how these boots are. And as far as the feet, he can go, he can go up not too much, that much. He can point his toe down pretty, pretty decently. And he's got ankle pivot and he's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet and they put all that serial number nonsense on the bottom of his feet which is where it should have always been I don't understand why Hasbro took this long to do it it's been on the uh, Black Series figures for we'll call it ever and uh, hey but we're not here to complain about that type of stuff are we we're here to uh, peep out the figure so there he is. That's uh, our upgraded suit Spider-Man Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends. Let's do some comparisons. I've already done some. We're gonna, I'm going to go and put those same ones back up. And here's our new upgraded suit Spidey side by side with the first upgraded suit on our right and on our left. We've got the Civil War suit with the big old head, the big melon Peter Parker head. Next, we have Peter Parker unmasked, Tom Holland, the head sculpt, side by side with Zendaya, aka MJ. And finally, we have upgraded suit Spidey, side by side with the retro superposable Spider Man. Still, the bomb is Spider Man out to date. Before we bounce on up out of here, I just wanted to show you how you could utilize the uh, transparent webbing. You could either have him grab it handle style, or you can try to play it off as he's uh, whipping some webs. It's not really that good a look that way, but you, uh, you can do what you can to try to mask that. But that gives you an idea of a couple of the ways you can use that uh, that webbing and I saw Dan who do this earlier so this is my way of trying to do it myself it still looked a little bit better but with practice I know I'll get it so to sum it all up the Marvel Legends Walmart exclusive Spider-Man No Way Home upgraded suit action figure is a uh, pretty decent uh, upgrade to the original the uh, obviously the articulation is still the same, and of course we still lack the uh, the lines, the painted in lines. But the improved logos um, definitely go uh, a long way. The uh, more accurate uh, feet with the uh, black toes and heels. Anytime we can get uh, um, an upgrade that that shows. A more accurate costume I'm down for it is what it is we all know what goes down with uh, when they have the figures when Hasbro gets uh, they get concept art so they uh, they um, they go off of that and then they they pump these figures out um, what do you guys think do you, would you still want them to keep doing it that way or are you down for them to wait a while till they get the finished product the final product from from Marvel Studios so that way they can put out one uh, accurate figure and that's all that would be needed uh, let me know in the comments below but um, anyhow um, yeah uh, what else oh yes the uh, the head sculpt definitely um, is an improvement it looks definitely looks like Tom Holland both straight on and from the profiles that's pretty good and um, the other great thing I, I think is the uh, the strand of webbing that was included. I think every Spider-Man figure, both MCU and 616, 
comic uh, figure uh, should come with some form of uh, webbing, whether it be a strand like this or maybe an entire uh, like web net or something like that, something. But yeah, I think that that's mandatory. I think one of the things downsides also with the MCU figures that we never get wall crawling hands. We get, um, and in this case, we didn't even get fisted hands. We got a couple C grip hands and a couple thwipping hands. No fisted hands. And uh, standard seems is no wall crawling hands. So that needs to get uh, corrected as well. Anyhow, thank you guys for rocking with me. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and smash that bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. Until the next time, my peeps, remember, the hunt continues, and I'm out. Peace.